मॉर्निंग एवरीवन आज का टाइटल तो आप समझ ही गए होंगे ऑस्कर नॉमिनेशन प्रोडिक्ट ऑस्कर विनर प्रोडिक्ट करना है हम लोग को और वो मैं करूँगा बिकॉज आई एम वेरी गुड एट प्रोडिक्शंस और मुझे पता है कौन जीतेगा कौन सो आई प्रोडिक्ट अमेजिंगली जस्ट वेड एट मॉर्निंग बस देखना आप Welcome back to the videos. This video, this vlog is about Oscar nomination, and indeed it is. Uh, we are gonna talk about the. No, we are gonna do the predictions, okay? Basically, so let's start. Let's start with best animated feature. I think so across the Spider Verse should win. It's one of the spe like spectacular. It's a spectacular piece of cinema. But Boy and Heron gonna win because it's more poetic and more cohesive. Boy and the Heron is also a spectacular film. Like. Hayao Miyazaki is just one of those filmmakers who just know what he's doing. Next prediction is for best adapted screenplay. I think so. Poor Things is going to win because Poor Things is just one of those books. I've not read the book, but it's so good. The movie is so good. I think so. Poor Things is going to take the best adapted screenplay. Best cinematographer. I think so. It's going to be Oppenheimer without a doubt. Best editing is going to be Oppenheimer. Best original score is going to be Oppenheimer. Best Actor in supporting role is going to be Robert Downey Jr. Best actor is going to be Killian Murphy. Best picture is going to be Oppenheimer, and best uh... yeah, best yeah, everything, and best actress in supporting role is probably gonna be the woman from Holdovers, and. Uh... Editing is also going to be Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is going to be the big, 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 big win for the year. Uh, best uh, best actress in the leading role is going to be Emma Stone for Poor Things, and best director is obviously going to be Christopher Nolan, and he should as he should be. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think so. Best story ah best foreign language film is going to be uh, Zone of Interest, but there is a slight chance that maybe. Anatomy of Fall might take that away. So that's roughly my uh, winners for the Oscar. But honestly speaking, last year for movies was a breath of fresh air. I would not say one of the best years in filmmaking, uh, but it was a loop for me. Here there were some bangers and then there were some mediocre stuff. But I feel like overall the last year was not bad for cinema, but not extremely good for cinema. It was somewhere in the middle. But definitely, one thing is for sure that Barbenheimer kind of did that. People love cinematic experiences. People love cinema, especially in big screen. And Barbie and Oppenheimer proved it. And yet again, I feel like uh, the cinema is getting better. This year, we have we are we have started with the bang. I mean, look at fucking Dune too. That's a ten on ten film, and it's hardly ma it's March, for God's sake. So I mean, we are eating good. So that's about it for the Oscar predictions. I think that that's my Oscar predictions. I'm gonna write the Oscar predictions in the comment description section, so you can just uh, see and you know stuff. And it's all fun and games, probably. Uh, that's about it. I'll see you tomorrow, or maybe day after. No, I'll see you tomorrow because daily videos. But what is your best film of 2024? Ah, oh, sorry, 2023. My bad. All right. See you in a bit.